So what about this one? Well, we got this X plus 2 stuff right here. And is there any of these um, any of these functions that represent that kind of looking function? Well, the closest thing we can get is this h of x, right? But that's x squared plus 2. So how did they make that an x? Well, they must have they must have square rooted that garbage. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's going to be related to this g. So the question is is it h of g or is it g of h? And how do we know that it would be g of h? <clears throat> well, here's the thing about that, okay? Now, it's not necessarily that we did it first. And again, this is why there's no necess there's not necessarily a magic formula on this one. Let's, let's look at both of these. So g of h, g is the square root of a x, and so it would be the square root of h on this one. But h is uh, x squared plus 2. Well, this is a lot different than what we, this would come out a lot different than what we ended up with. So checking this stuff is going to be crucial. Uh, on the other hand, if we did h of g of x, h of x is x squared plus 2, right? But g, which is what we're replacing x with, that would be uh, square root of x. And that makes it work, right? If we were to simplify this, you'd get x plus 2. So this one ends up being our answer.